Okay, here's a proper way of uh, soldering a bullet connector to a wire. Okay, so this is a wire. With a, it's already thin with a small wire. So how do you solder it to the bullet connector here? So what I did first, I heat up the the bullet connector. So you just heat it up. Okay, now you can see the liquid forming. While heating it up, it's okay. It won't melt. So you also heat up the wire. So you heat up the two. Once the both wire is uh, hot, then you submerge it there see very clean no cold solder <laughs> this is how I did uh, with uh, this bullet connector Linis, diba? okay so this is uh, how it looked like Mm-hmm. See very clean. No exposed wire. No exposed wire. Okay. Very clean. Make sure you, you hit both sides, the bullet connector and the wire simultaneously. Make sure it's the same temperature. Once it's the same temperature, then you quickly submerge the wire into the bullet connector, then, and let it cool down. So, that's it. Okay, that's how I do it. One more thing. So, there's another technique on how to... I, uh, I do the same with this connector, with this, uh, there, with this battery connector, okay. So how do you solder this battery connector? Okay, here's the technique. Uh, where's the... How do you solder it without deforming the battery without deforming the battery connector? Okay. First you have to look for the female support. Normally you have to look for the, the female connector. But it's very dangerous to use a live battery. So you must look for a, a San Yun connector ko. A dummy connector. Teka, hanap muna ako. Okay, how to how to solder a battery connector? Okay. First, you don't you don't solder it right away. You have to look for a a dummy connector. I have up here an old a charger. Okay, so that's the one. So make sure I insert it here. Just to make sure the okay, I insert it here. Okay. Okay. Just to make sure when you heat up the connector, you will not deform the connector. Okay? Because sometimes if you apply uh, too much heat, the tendency of the connector, the, the holder, this red uh, plastic will melt. And once it's melt, it will deform, deform the connector. So to avoid it, so you have to you have to insert it to another uh, female connector. Then you do the same procedure. First you heat up 
you heat up the battery connector and also heat up the wire then as the solder become uh, liquid then you attach okay so this is how I do it as you can you will notice that some battery connector is very difficult to insert uh, you know why because of the they did a different procedure they might have uh, deformed this uh, the connector so sometimes some battery connector is very difficult to insert because it's already deformed okay so this is how I do it okay that's about it so here your helicopter by the way you should have a very good soldering iron I suggest you get a, a very good soldering iron with adjustable uh, soldering station here here's what I got very cheap got it from Kaloy mura lang okay Kaloy ah thank you ah <laughs> Okay, ready for test flight? Maybe, maybe this Saturday. Okay. Galing, oh, very neat. In the old days, you have to uh, install the gyro due to the very large uh, receiver. Large receiver, you have to install the gyro here. Sometimes other people, they put gyro here. Looks so ugly. Now everything can be fit inside the helicopter. A gyro, small receiver. That's the receiver. Okay. Okay, Joe, ready for test flight maybe on Saturday Sunday bye